Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Tiki, and in this video, we're gonna learn how to install SAS on Windows. SAS stands for Synthetically Awesome Style Sheets, and it's an extension of CSS that enables you to use things like variables, nested rules, inline imports, and other stuff. And it also helps you to keep things organized and allows you to create style sheets a lot faster. Now the first technique that I'm going to show you guys is by using Visual Studio Code and this is definitely the technique that I recommend because it's a lot faster and easier. And the second technique is by downloading and installing Ruby. And we're going to uh, download and install Ruby if you guys don't want to use Visual Studio Code which is the second part of this video. Alright, so let's go ahead and do it uh, using Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder and name it SAS. Then I'm just going to open extensions and type SAS compiler. And then click on this live SAS compiler in the search results and hit install. It's going to install the extension. All right, so it's installed. Now I'm going to hit reload here, which is another extension I have. But if you guys don't have it, just go ahead and close and reopen your Visual Studio Code. So it's just going to reload Visual Studio Code and now SAS compiler is installed. So I'm going to go back here in my folder and I'm going to create a new file style.scss which is the SAS extension. And uh, over down here you can see that the watch SAS button has appeared. So you want to click on that and once you click on it and uh, make sure that your file and folder is selected. You will see that the compiler has copied the SCSS file over to style.css. And style.css is the one that we're going to be including from the HTML page. So here I'm going to go ahead and create a new HTML page. And now we're all ready to go. So let's go ahead and uh, find some SAS code to play around with. So Let's go to pen, uh, codepen.io forward slash tag forward slash dot scss and this is just going to bring up some some um, pens with uh, th that use scss so let's go ahead and click on this one that says card movie and I'm going to go ahead and copy this html I'm going to paste it inside the index.html and I'm gonna copy this this uh, SAS code and paste it inside the style.scss. Click save. And now you can also check out style.css, and you can see that the compiler has also copied the code over here. So now, now all we have to do is include style.css from our index page, and um, everything should be working. So let's go ahead and include it. Just gonna paste this code here. So make sure that the style CSS is in the same folder as your uh, index HTML page. And uh, now, if you guys have a live server, you can just right click and open this page with live server. And you can see now that uh, our SAS is working because we have this uh, uh, nicely styled um, card here. So that's how you install SAS using Visual Studio Code. Now let me show you guys how to install it using Ruby. So I'm going to type install Ruby in the browser and you want to go to a Ruby installer for Windows since we're installing on Windows and click on this big download button and uh, I'm just going to get the one for um, without the dev kit because it's going to take faster and uh, you want to check which Windows operating system you have. It's either 64-bit or um, or the 32-bit. So if you don't know how to do this, you can go to Control Panel, and you can go to System and Security. Click on System, and then under System Type, it should say what kind of operating system you have. So. It's either 64-bit or uh, 32. So I'm going to get the one um, for 64-bit without the dev kit. 
save the file. And then once the file is downloaded, go ahead and run it. And then it's just going to go ahead and install Ruby on your computer. Now you want to uncheck that and click finish. All right, now let's go ahead and check to see if uh, you want to go ahead and go to start and type path and go to edit the system environment variables. Click on this button environment variables. And you just want to make sure that it has added Ruby as your path here. So it did. So now we're ready to use our Ruby compiler to run SAS. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go to start here. And um, you want to type command. And you can see that you have two options here. So you have a regular command prompt and you have start command prompt with Ruby. So that's the one you want to select. And once that command prompt is open, you want to navigate to the directory of your SAS folder. And I'm going to copy this path here. And I'm going to uh, type CD and paste the directory to navigate to that path. So now we're inside of the project folder. And for this example, we're going to need to use uh, different folders for SAS and CSS. But before we do that, let's actually install SAS first. So for that, you want to type gem install SAS. Now the SAS has been successfully installed. So now we're ready to work with it. So for this example, in order to do this, we're going to need to create two folders, one for SAS and one for CSS. And you're going to see why in just a minute. So going to create a new folder inside of our SAS folder called SAS and the other one's going to be CSS. And um, let's go ahead and delete uh, the styles for now, the CSS styles. And let's just go ahead and uh, uh, put the style SAS inside of our um, SAS folder. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, stop the uh, compiler from um, from the Visual Studio Code just to make sure that we're not using that. So, okay, so now we're ready to use our Ruby compiler to create that CSS file in the same way that uh, Visual Studio Code extension has created for us. So uh, for that, we're gonna type SAS, two dashes, watch, and then the name of our folders, which are SAS, and then colon that uh, colon and CSS so those are the two folders that we have created and then hit enter now you can see that the SAS is watching for changes and you can see that the two files has have appeared here in the same exact way as uh, the extension compiler has done it for us so we can go ahead and check out our style that CSS and you can see that it has copied the code over so that's how you install SAS using this uh, Ruby compiler technique. So let's go ahead and uh, run our index.html again to see that everything's working. Oh, let's first go ahead and uh, include, um, change the, the path here to CSS because we're now inside of our, the style is inside of the CSS folder. So change that. And then go back and open with live server and now that's working as well so that is how you install SAS on Windows using the Ruby compiler and that's it for this video on how to install SAS on Windows if you guys liked it please like share and subscribe and I'll see you next time clever techie out